Okay. Hi everyone. Um, this is two. These are two doctor interns working at CAPS. I'm MJ and. I am Kate. Nice to meet everyone. <laughs> All right, so we are recording this session um, to help you to guide through uh, how self-help, which can give you a lot of coping strategies when you feel stressed and anxious. So the way that we start get to getting to uh, Tao self-help is you would go to the main CAPS website, so caps.sdes.ucf.edu. And when you get to the home page, you're going to scroll down. And so I'm sharing my screen right now so you can follow along. So we would scroll down and on the right here, there is the Tau Assistance Online Therapy, Assistance Online Self-Help. So we're going to click that. And it's going to give us an overview of what is Tau Self-Help, um, who's eligible, the benefits, highlights, and then how you sign up. So in order to sign up, you would follow this enrollment link right here, and it's going to give you an option to enter certain information. Um, you're going to enter your UCF Knights email, and then it's going to ask for a code, which you would put here. This is your UCF student code, and if you are staff or faculty, you would enter this code instead. So we're not going to self, um, we're not going to sign in ourselves or log in ourselves. We're going to just use our, our own logins. Um, and so if we go over here, this is where you would put your email and your password. And we're going to go ahead and log in. And we are going to take a look at all of the different pathways that we have available. And MJ is going to go over the different pathways that we have here. So we have, uh, there are in total nine pathways of targeting different um, like difficulties like depression, um, anxiety, worry, pain, um, and substance use and interpersonal difficulties. And today, um, as an example, we will go through the calming your worry pathway for the students because it's more relevant to our um, people here at UCF. So um, this is a, a mock pathway where um, you can learn some coping strategies um, in the framework of cognitive behavioral therapy. So let's click on that. And here you go. So um, in this pathway, in this anxiety pathway, um, there are um, seven modules in total. And today we'll go over a uh, model by model a little bit in detail. Um, and at the beginning of, at the top of each pathway, you will see uh, an option, the client walkthrough, where you can see the overview of each pathway and how to navigate through this menu. So can you click on that? Yes. And then um, there is like 10 minute long video clip where um, you can learn how to use these pathways. So we won't watch it um, today, but um, feel free to watch it if you want to learn how to use this pathway. So we can go back to the overview of this pathway. All right, cool. So um, if you scroll down, you will see uh, the overview of the modules, like module one through module seven. And first, uh, we will go over the module one first. So in this module, um, you will have a greater understanding of what your anxiety and worry look like. And it is composed of six sessions. And this is kind of typical way what each module is um, structured. So there will be four to six sessions in total, and it'll take one a little bit of one hour for each module. So um, plan to spend one hour um, for each module while you are walking through this kind of pathway. And each module starts with by completing um, your mood survey where you will be asked to rate how you are feeling. Okay. And now um, let's um, take a look at the session by session. So this model, because model one is the very first um, time you um, start this pathway, um, it'll give you a lot of overview about this treatment itself. So let's click on the session one. And this is about the program introduction. So in this program introduction, um, 
all the session, each session under each module will start by defining the aim and After what you can expect. Okay, you can play. Completing this session, you will be able to demonstrate familiarity with program goals and time requirements, plan for your first week within the program, and elaborate upon anxiety's role in your life. Okay, so those are session goals for this specific session. And then if you click on to the next button, then now it will start the main um, session. So here in this session specifically, you will learn what the anxiety looks like and what the typical anxiety symptoms look like. In that way, you will get a um, sense of uh, what really anxiety means. And you'll be also prompted to um, log some of your anxiety responses. For example, if we go to the next, you'll be kind of able to have a chance to a minute to uh, reflect upon your experience of your, your own anxiety. So for example, you can write down the coping strategies you use that was helpful to tackle your, your anxiety and some unhelpful coping strategies, strategies that you use. So Kate is now um, writing some coping strategies that has been helpful for her. Okay, and if you hit the next, and then now you'll be asked to reflect upon your experience with anxiety that did not, uh, that has not worked for you in the past. So in this way, uh, you will have a better understanding of anxiety. So this is about session one and you also, we will start um, reviewing the session too. Kate will lead that. All right. <clears throat> so here we are gonna go back to the modules and the pathway. And this first module was about understanding your worry and your anxiety, which um, Min Jung kind of reviewed. And now we're going to go to the next module, which is about relaxation and anxiety reduction. So similar to the first module, you would complete that mood survey, which we kind of clicked on briefly, asks you questions about how you're doing. And over time throughout these modules, it'll track and create kind of a graph showing you how you're progressing. Um, so this is the second mood survey that you would be completing. Um, each week you'll do this. And for module two, this uh, module is about relaxation and anxiety reduction. So within this first session here, um, kind of like Min Jung was talking about, it's gonna show you a, um, an overview of what your goals are for this session. It's going to give you a series of short videos and then ask about your series, um, not your series, your experiences with, um, with anxiety and with relaxation. So this first session kind of goes over what factors inhibit relaxation, um, what promotes relaxation, and then what are some obstacles to engaging in relaxation. Uh, session two here reviews progressive muscle relaxation, which is more the physiological process of relaxation, how in your body you learn to ground yourself using um, tensing and releasing of your muscles. Deep breathing here kind of goes over this four count breathing process and it'll give you a video that walks you through the breathing process and teaches you how to be um, present in the moment with your breath. And finally, session four is a guided imagery meditation. So it shouldn't take that long, but it's about a, a 10 minute video that takes you through this guided meditation. Um, and it's really helpful and relaxing. <laughs> so at the end of this module, you'll complete the module two feedback. Um, and at the end, it'll kind of give you a summary of all the feedback you've given and the progress that you've made. And Minjung will go ahead and describe module three. All right. So from the module one to module two, you have learned your typical patterns of anxiety responses and your coping strategies, and you also learned how to relax uh, physically. Now in the module three, you will go over to um, the, some of the exercise to understand your cognitive response to stressors and what uh, maintains your anxiety. So from session one to section, session six, um, you will learn what 
the role of thoughts and assumptions and core beliefs in maintaining your anxiety symptoms that are not helpful in your life. And you'll be also prompted to um, identify your unhelpful thoughts and so some thoughts to challenge those unhelpful thoughts and assumptions and core beliefs as well. So that way you will find some of your automatic um, thought patterns like if then, should, must, and some rigid beliefs um, that maintain your um, anxious responses. And again, at the end of module three, you will also um, have a chance to provide some feedback. And now module four. <clears throat> Module four is about mindfulness. Again, we're starting out with the mood survey. Um, and this module only has three sessions um, that kind of go over different um, aspects of mindfulness. So that first session here is going to talk about like, what are the benefits of being in the present moment? Um, it's going to talk about how we can accept our anxiety and create space for it. So allowing it to be there rather than trying to push it out of our minds. Um, and it's going to give us a little bit of information on when you are and when you're not being mindful and ask about your experiences with when you feel like you've been mindful versus when you haven't. So sessions two and three are going to go over a little bit of the tips and tricks of mindfulness um, and a couple of different exercises. So it's going to show you how to use mindfulness in everyday activities, how to observe the mind, how to observe the present moment, and kind of be in the here and now. So it might go over um, another guided meditation. Um, it could use um, teach you how to observe your breath and observe your experience. And then again, at the end of this module, you're going to be able to provide some feedback and module five okay in module five now you have a better understanding of what your cognitive emotional and behavioral responses to the stressors in terms of your anxiety now um you will practice as to how to face your fears here we implement the exposure therapy approach where um you will have some plans to test yourself out whether you can tolerate some levels of um, stressors or not in that way you can um have a better control on your behaviors and anxiety. So that's about module five and it is, cons it is composed of two sessions where you plan your exposure therapy and actually you do your own exposure therapy and um, write it down your own experiences. And now module six. So now that you've faced your fears, you've gone over the cognitive, the behavioral, and the physiological components of anxiety, we're going to look at the lifestyle factors. So these are the everyday things that kind of contribute to anxiety. Um, there's helpful habits and there's unhelpful habits that we all engage in every day. Um, and it's going to help you identify which ones are contributing to anxiety and which ones are helping you move away from um, anxiety. So we're gonna look at some helpful tips and tricks. Um, the first one, again, about lifestyle factors, which, which everyday activities are helping or hurting you. And the, se uh, the second and third sessions are about really your body. Um, session two talks a lot about nutrition and about um, anxiety promoting and anxiety reducing foods. One thing that's always helpful and important to remember is that everybody's bodies are different. And so for one person, while this module may be very important and may be very effective, if your body is different um, and everyone's is, it's important to consult with a doctor or a nutritionist before taking any advice. Um, so this, this section on nutrition is gonna give you a basic overview of what is gonna be more helpful or less helpful for anxiety. Um, section three is again, um, about physical exercise, please consult with a doctor or a nutritionist first to make sure that this is appropriate for you. But it'll talk about how physical exercise can be helpful um, and what kinds of things might be more inhibiting. Um, so sleep habits, are you getting enough sleep? Are you um, not getting enough sleep? How much is too much? How much is too little? Um, and what are some things that you can do to help um, yourself feel a little bit better? And again, at the end of this module, you can provide some feedback. And so module seven. 
All right, so now module seven. So this is kind of wrapping up module where you will have a chance to reflect upon what you learned through this pathway and what was helpful and what was not helpful and how you can kind of continue practicing these healthy behaviors. And you will also work on relapse pre prevention where you identify the situations that may trigger some of your past anxious responses and how you can um, tackle that moving forward. So you will have a chance to plan uh, some long-term plans to continuously you can um, keep your healthy behavior. So that's about this pathway, worry pathway. Awesome. <clears throat> so yeah, this covers the calming your worry student pathway. And let's say that you're not wanting to complete an entire pathway, or maybe you're hoping to just do something brief and in the moment. Um, Tao offers this great section called the Mindfulness Library, which we're going to take you to now. Um, and the Mindfulness Library offers a series of different activities um, and based on the time that you have available you can choose one that suits your needs so you'll notice on the side here it has um, numbers and parentheses that's the time that each video will take um, and so there's a couple of different ones we've got mindful breathing mindful eating um, different guided imageries um, you could even do mindful walking so there's a number of different activities on here that you can utilize at any point um, and figure out which one's most appropriate for you and which one fits into your schedule okay cool so um, this was the overview of Tao self-help. Um, again, we only showed some, like a little bit small portion of the Tao and there are other eight more pathways you can utilize. So I, we highly recommend you to kind of plan some time every day so that you can um, learn some coping skills for your depression, anxiety, and worries or other concerns. Um, so, um, Wrapping up, just we want to just remind you all that um, our crisis service is available at 407-823-2811 and press 5. And we have a lot of um, web resources on our website and social media, including Instagram and Facebook, where we post some helpful um, short video clips um, as for the um, coping strategies in this pandemic and in general, how to stress, how to cope with the stress. And there's some up here that you can see um, some resources for coping, like Minjung was stating, um, and then different referrals available. Um, so if you go to the main CAPS website and you click resources, it'll take you to this page where we've got a number of different um, resources and um, resources on campus, um, smartphone apps, and in general, different resources. Um, and that's, I think that's all that we have for today. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to call the front desk and ask. Um, but also remember that on the side here, we have the therapy assistance online self-help button, which you can go to and it'll answer a lot of the different questions that you have here. Okay, so thank you so much for listening to our um, webinar and I hope this was helpful. Take care and stay healthy and well. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.